previously on Hold up, motherfucker, this is my time. Matt, what are you doing going through this trash? I, uh, I think I put it in here somewhere. Here it is. Weevil on the pants. Gearfield, destroy his last egg and the rest of his life points. Welcome to Loserville, Weevil. Population, you. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's that guy who defends all his childhood relics from being destroyed by shitty companies. Konami, wow, we haven't talked before on this channel actually. You're a company that is notorious for doing stupid things and people just going, we're not even gonna get mad because it's Konami. Today we're gonna be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! This is a franchise that a lot of us grew up with because I was obsessed with collecting cards, building that awesome deck to duel all my friends, playing games such as Nightmare Troubadour. While those games have not aged entirely well, still I have very fond memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! Introducing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which is just recently released globally, and it has 10 million downloads, which is exactly why I was inspired to create this video. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is a formula that is going to be copy and pasted into as many intellectual properties as possible that Konami can get their hands on. Naturally, Konami is best known for destroying the Metal Gear franchise, but this is one that touches a little bit more close to home for me because I didn't really grow up playing a lot of Metal Gear games, but I did grow up obsessing over Yu-Gi-Oh! So I feel I can talk a little bit more impassioned about this one. Truth be told, when firing up Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, it's not a terrible game. It starts off with you entering a new dimension where everyone's trying to duel each other and you can play as one of the quote legendary duelists such as Yami Yugi or Seto Kaiba, Joey Wheeler, whoever the hell you really want as you unlock them through these gate challenges which are barred off naturally through gate keys which you unlock through duels which you can only do about five of at a time until you're barred off for two hours. You get the place I'm going with this ladies and gentlemen. There is a block everywhere you fucking go. And that's the thing is that these duels you can fly through. These AI are dumber than bricks. I'd rather duel the fucking wall back there than duel the people in this fucking app. Seriously, you fly through them, you're done, and then after that, it's okay, wait two hours for more to respawn, or you can pay money, you can give us that dough, and we'll put more duelers right in front of you. Has no one learned from Fallout Shelter? This is the fucking game that dominated the app store for months because it just did that. It let us play the fucking game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links would be a great mobile game if they just let us duel and collect cards. But they don't. They try to stop you at every point and get you to pay up. Are we surprised because it's Konami? No. Does it make it less worse? Fuck no. I mentioned collecting cards. Let's talk about that a little bit. For every pack you get, you unlock three cards. I'm not fucking kidding. Three fucking cards. I'm actually curious now that I mentioned that. How many cards are in the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise? I'll just Google how many cards are in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. There are 6,000 plus different cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. Konami will give you three cards per pack out of the 6,000 total. Mind you, half the time when you open these, you get repeats. We just opened four packs and got one, two, three, four brand new cards. One of them as you can see, being a repeat. Now say I spent real money on that, I'd be spending five buckaroos to get 12 cards, four of them being new. At least if you're giving me something new each time, that's awesome because then I'm getting that sense of progress. I know I'm investing in something. I'm not getting the same shit every time. When you're giving me three cards and I'm somehow repeating them, come on, that's rigged as fuck. Seriously, just simple probability states that I'm not going to get those same three cards every fucking time out of 6,000. It's such a low percentage chance it has to be rigged to get people to spend more money. On top of that, their rarity system makes no sense. How about that card reinforcements? I think a lot of us are familiar with that. I'm gonna go check its rarity right now. Reinforcement is considered in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe a normal trap card. Nothing special. In fact, it's stated on the page that it's involved in every single starter deck you can buy. According to Duel Links, this card is super rare. I'm gonna go test this. I'm gonna go fucking test this. I'll be right back. All right, we're back from Walmart. We got a Seto Kaiba starter deck here. I also just caved in and bought a couple of packs of cards. Okay, everyone, we're undergoing a bit of a format change on the channel. Welcome to the new Mr. Maddie Opens packs. Today, we're gonna be starting off with a Seto Kaiba starter deck. They give you this shit off the bat now? Are you kidding me? I remember grinding my ass off as a kid for this and they just give it to you straight up now. I'll give it that much, it's certainly beautiful. They give me two. They give me two. This isn't a fucking joke. I, I literally just unwrapped this. Is this common? Nice, a repeat. Did that side lie to me? I didn't get a reinforcements card in here. It was at this moment Maddie began wondering, was the game rigged against him? 
Had Konami predicted his next move and instead removed the reinforcements card from Seto Kaiba's starter deck, or perhaps had the site been lying, he could not tell for both were distrustful. Well, that was our Seto Kaiba starter deck. Now we're gonna open up the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist pack. Apparently this comes with five cards. Go figure that, oh my God, the game gives you three and they give you repeats all the time. This actually gives you five. <laughs> Man, I remember. Oh shit! Let's go! I'm actually really happy about that, dude. Dark Magician was dope, but this is a different one. What has happened to my childhood? Oh, nice. A repeat. Go fuck yourself. You too. Go fuck yourself. The last pack we're gonna open is the Destiny Soldiers pack. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yo, they are feeding me. Ew, what the fuck? That, what is this? Why are these all... Okay, so this is a foil pack literally through and through. Wow, we scored big time, man. For perspective, all these beautiful cards here cost me 20 bucks, and all of them are new, except for a few small repeats. The game's also very lazy. As you can see, there's no unique attack animations. It's just put the card on there. You see a bigger photo of what's on the card itself, and then when the card attacks, it's just bang a card. Aside from some unique summons, such as, for example, Yami Yugi and Dark Magician, they're faithful companions. So basically, those are the only types of special summons you're gonna see. Other than that, every single other card feels the same, and that's not okay in a Yu-Gi-Oh game. They all are vastly different with their own unique types of attacks. In the beginning, they flood you with prizes. You're like, wow, they're not letting up. This is a real game. And over time, bit by bit, they slowly take away more gems, which is what you need to unlock packs. And in those packs, as I covered earlier, you get so little, you get repeats that when you get ripped off, I will admit it's very tempting for you to go, I should just drop five bucks here and get exactly what I want. And that's what they want you to do. I know like, for example, with Pokemon Go, it seems like a natural transition for Yu-Gi-Oh to make its way to mobile platforms. Absolutely, but not at the cost of this where it's going to ring fans dry. You can see right now, I am the physical embodiment of Konami. This, these are Yu-Gi-Oh fans right here. They're ringing you fucking dry. That's what they're doing to you right now, okay? This is your money and everything, and they're like, fuck you. Part of me wants to say it's okay, it's not too bad of a cash grab, because Duel Links, when you're playing it, you're getting into that groove for those, like, few 30 minutes. It's actually an enjoyable time. It's when the game puts up as many roadblocks as possible to stop you from playing and take your money, is when I start to get mad. Overall, the verdict is that if you really need to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, both ways you're supporting Konami, whether you're buying the physical version or the digital version, but the most cost-effective option Option is to take the physical route. There you're getting more cards, and also you have the chance to have fun with friends through that way, where this version is just cashing in on your convenience because they're giving you less for more money and also putting up roadblocks every step of the way. Like I said, both ways support Konami, so do think before you act, but still, the physical route is the way to go in my opinion. This probably won't stop anyone from playing the game because, I mean, it's got 10 million plus downloads, but still, I figured I'd just yell into a camera for fun, right? If you guys have any fond Yu-Gi-Oh! memories, then be sure to fire away in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are, as always, in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Be sure to support that in order to ensure that content continues to flow. Other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all. Peace.